सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन यूनिट टू चैप्टर थ्री द चेयर लेट एस डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन राइट टू वर्ड्स दैट कम टू योर माइंड वेन यू थिंक ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप ए नाउ find some more words that are related to friendship from the grid given below you can search horizontally or vertically there are eight words one word has been marked as an example the first letter of each word has been given in bold the highlighted word in the grid is helpful please go through the other words and make new words b fill in the blanks to complete the words which mean the same as friend or friends with the help of the meanings meaning one a person who you do things together with word p dash r dash n dash r meaning two an informal word for friends word b dash dash d dash dash s 3 a person who you spend a lot of time with word c dash m p dash n dash o dash meaning 4 children who are in the same class as you at school word c l dash s dash m dash t dash s C There are so many words for a friend what do you call a friend in your own language page number 60 Let us read part 1 There was a boy called Mario who loved to have lots of friends he showed off a lot always talking about how many friends he had at school and how he was so friendly with everyone one day his grandfather said to him mario i bet you a fruit chart you don't have as many friends as you think you have i'm sure many of them are nothing more than companions or partners mario accepted the bet readily however he wasn't sure how he could test whether his schoolmates were real friends or not so he asked his grandpa for help he suggested i have exactly what you need it's in the attic wait here a minute grandpa left soon returning as though carrying something in his hand but mario could see nothing there take it it's a very special chair as it's invisible it's rather tricky to sit on it but if you take it to school and manage to sit on it then magic will work and you will be able to tell who your real friends are new words with their meaning on this page showed off boasted accepted agreed to readily without any problem attic a storage space in a house just under the roof invisible impossible to see page number 61 let us discuss one mario was very proud of having so many friends state whether true or false two what did the grandfather take from the attic three will mario face any challenges four will mario be able to use the magic a picture is shown on the top of this page in this picture mario is seen talking to his grandfather part 2 mario brave and determined took the strange invisible chair and set off for school at break time he asked everyone to form a circle he put himself in the middle with his chair nobody move you are about to see something amazing new words and their meaning on this page 
determined, firm in decision, amazing, very surprising. Page number 62 On the top of this page, a picture is shown. In this picture, Mario is seen falling on the floor while he is being encircled by his classmates. Mario tried sitting on the chair. Having difficulty seeing it, he missed and fell straight onto his backside. His classmates had a pretty good laugh. Wait, wait, wait! Just a slight technical problem. He said, trying again. But again, he missed the seat, causing more surprised looks and laughter. Mario wouldn't give up. He kept trying to sit on the magic chair and kept falling to the ground until suddenly he tried again and didn't fall. This time he sat hanging in mid-air. Then he finally experienced the magic that his grandfather had been talking about. Looking around, Mario saw Guneet, Asma and Deepa, three of his buddies, holding him up so he wouldn't fall. Meanwhile, many others he had thought of as friends had done nothing but made fun of him, enjoying each and every fall. New word with its meaning on this page. Experienced. Felt. Page number 63. Leaving with his three friends, he explained to them how his grandfather had so cleverly thought of a way to show him that true friends are those who care for us. A friend wouldn't be someone who takes joy in our bad luck. That evening, the four children went to see Mario's grandpa as he had won the bet. They had a great time listening to stories and eating a lot of fruit chart. From then on, they used the magic chair test on many occasions and whoever passed became friends for life. On the bottom of this page, a picture is shown. In this picture, Mario is being helped by his three true friends while the others are looking at. Page number 64 Let us discuss. 1. Mario successfully sat on the invisible chair on his first attempt. State whether true or false. 2. Fill in the blank with a suitable word. Mario's grandfather challenged him to a bet of dash. 3. Match the following characters with their action. Guneet, Asma and Deepa. A. Held Mario up so he wouldn't fall. B. Made fun of Mario's attempts. Let us think and reflect. 1. Read the following lines and answer the questions that follow. A. Take it. It's a very special chair. As it's invisible, it's rather tricky to sit on. But if you take it to school and manage to sit on it, then the magic will work and you'll be able to tell who your real friends are. 1. Fill in the blanks with two words that describe the chair. The chair is dash and dash. 2. Why was it tricky to sit on the chair? 3. Why does Mario's grandfather call the chair special? B. Wait, wait, just a slight technical problem. He said, trying again. But again, he missed the seat, causing more surprised looks and laughter. Mario wouldn't give up. 1. Fill in the blank with a suitable reason. Mario says there was a technical problem because... Dash. 2. Mario's friends were very caring and helpful. State whether true or false. 3. Choose the correct option to complete the sentence. Mario wouldn't give up. This shows he is dash. A. Strong-willed. B. Supportive. C. Loving. D. Hard-working. Page number 65 2. 
answer the following questions a what was the bet about b what happened when mario sat on the chair for the first time c how was mario able to find his real friends d do you think the magic chair test was good why do you say so e what does friends for life mean to you f the grandfather's idea helped mario find his real friends mention any other way that would help you find out who are your real friends let us learn 1 read the following words from the text friendly suddenly talking carrying called showed complete the following table by dividing the words into two parts one has been done for you column a 1 friend column b l y the word is friendly five other spaces in column a and column b are left empty for you to fill the words accordingly there's an important information given on the right hand bottom of this page in a box the words in column a are called the root words the sequences of letters that are in column b which come after the root words are called suffixes page number 66 2 match the following root words with suitable suffixes you can use a suffix more than once use them to make sentences of your own one has been done for you root word magic suffix ing word magical sentence the magician performed an amazing magical act care suffix al dash dash make the word and the sentence celebrate suffix ful laugh suffix ly wonder suffix ed help suffix t i o n friend suffix o u s courage suffix s h i p note observe the changes in spelling in a few word combinations 3 read the following lines from the story mario brave and determined took the strange invisible chair dash you have already described the chair now describe what kind of a person mario is in the image given below use words from the story you may also use words of your own on the bottom of this page mario's picture is shown with four blank spaces around fill in the blanks important information is given on the right hand side of this page in a box the words that describe the quality of a person or a thing are called adjectives page number 67 4 match each word adjectives in column a with a suitable word noun in column b you can make more than one combination one has been done as an example column a adjectives 1 brave column b nouns friends column c phrases brave soldier column d sentences 1 the brave soldier marched ahead column a adjectives clever tasty heavy slight true column b nouns rain soldier plan peanuts cold column c phrases dash column d sentences dash 5 complete the paragraph with suitable adjective noun pairings use the words in the box given below old book magical adventures happy boy amazing stories fantastic adventures colorful creatures old castles once upon a time in a little village a or an 1 dash 
named Abhishek found A or an. 2. Dash in the attic. He read 3. Dash about fairy lands. 4. Dash and 5. Dash Abhishek's eyes got big as he imagined these. 6. Dash he told his friends about the stories and they started to have their own seven dash when they played together. Page number 68 Let us listen. You will listen to Manu talk about her friend, Monica. As you listen, fill in the blanks with words that you hear. Refer to page 73 for transcript. A. Monica found it, dash, when she took admission in the school. B. Manu was, dash, and held by her in many ways. C. So, it was not so, dash, for the new girl to adjust in the school. D. Both friends experienced difficult and, dash, moments together. E. Manu is, dash, to Monica for making her life easy and finding a friend. You will listen to the girl once again. Let us speak. 1. Work in pairs. Read the following qualities of a friend. Loving, honest, kind, caring, loyal, polite, respectful, team worker, understanding. Discuss in pairs. Choose any four positive qualities that you would like your friend to have. Give a reason for your choice. Use the hints given below when you speak. I feel my friend should be dash because dash. I think the quality I want in my friend is being dash. The reason for this is dash. I believe my friend should be dash. This is in order to dash. If my friend is dash, then dash. Page number 69 Let us write. 1. Read the messages that Mario has written to his friends Deepa, Gunit and Azma. Dear Deepa, I feel so special that you are my friend. I know you will always be there for me. Before going to bed, I said a little prayer for Gunith, Azma and you. You made me realize the value of having good friends. Best wishes, Mario. Dear Azma, I feel blessed to know that you are my true friend. I would have fallen again today. If it wasn't for Gunith, Deepa and you, I know I can always depend on the three of you no matter what. Best wishes, Mario. A. Now choose the correct word given in brackets to complete Mario's message to Gunith. Dear Gunith, I am dash thankful to or requesting God to have you as a dash lucky or real friend for life when everyone was dash laughing at or talking to me, Deepa, Azma, and you showed me that you, dash, will save or care for me. You are indeed a, dash, blessing or loving in my life. Best wishes, Mario. Now write your own message to your best friend. You may take ideas from the story, the unlikely best friends and the poem, A Friend's Prayer. Page number 70. Let us explore. 1. Find out more stories about friendship. It could be from your state, other states or other countries too. You can share them with your class. 2. Describe your friends by filling in the blanks with suitable words. This is known as acrostic poem. F dash R dash I dash E dash N dash D dash 
S dash three. Complete the following task by talking to different people of different age groups as mentioned in the table. You may divide the class into groups to do the following. A table is shown in the middle of this page with three headings: questions, age group, response. Under the questions heading, what does friendship mean to you is written. Age group. 50 plus, 31 to 49, 20 to 30, 12 to 19. Response. Fill in the blank. After gathering responses, discuss similarities and differences across age groups. Reflect how viewpoints on friendship may change with age and life experiences. Present. A summary of the group's responses emphasizing key themes or unique insights. Page number 71. Transcripts. Let us listen. Refer to page 49. The unlikely best friends. Let me tell you a story of a cow and a leopard from Vadodara in Gujarat who became friends. As you know, a leopard is a wild animal and a cow is a domestic animal. Some people say that the cow took care of the leopard cub like a mother. When the cub became older, it went away from the village. It returned to meet the cow at night. The villagers were worried, but they never stopped the leopard. They saw that the leopard just sat beside the cow quietly. The cow and the leopard spent time by relaxing and playing with each other. The leopard did not like the villagers and stopped coming regularly. The villagers were surprised that the leopard never attacked the cow but became its friend. You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Page number 72 Transcripts. Let us listen. Refer to page 56. A friend's prayer. Hello. Let me tell you what outdoor activities Ajay and Dheeraj enjoy doing. Some days they like playing at the swings in the park. Ajay enjoys slides the most. Dheeraj likes nature. So both take walks in the nearby park listen to birds and look at the trees. On Saturdays, both go cycling around the neighborhood. What both truly enjoy is eating ice cream together. Sometimes they also purchase a comic book, sit on a park bench and read together. They are truly best friends. You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Page number 73 Transcripts. Let us listen. Refer to page 68. The Chair When I first joined this new school, things were very difficult. There was Monica. She was a supportive friend who guided me, introduced me to others and even shared her notes. That made me comfortable in the school. Since then, Monica and I have been together through difficult times and happy times. She is the kind of friend who is always there for you. I am really thankful for her and how her help and support turned into a really good friendship. You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Page number 74 let us ponder. Save water. Look at the pictures. Now discuss the following points. Sources of water. Without water, there cannot be any life. Value of water and need to save it. On this page, three pictures are shown. In one picture, a river is shown flowing. In the other picture, Water is shown in a pond. In the third picture, water is shown flowing out of a tap. 
Make a poster with a meaningful slogan on save water. On the bottom of this page, a seashore is shown. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.